Do you want your videos to go from looking something like this to looking like this? Then keep watching this video. Hello, my name is Eric with Inceptions Media, and today we're gonna to talk about what makes a good video. There are three main things that make up a good quality video. It's your camera, your lighting, and your audio. And all of these three things really work together to make a good quality video. So if you have two out of the three, still might be decent, but it's not really gonna be up to that tier of good quality. So if you have a good camera, if you have the best camera out there, you have really good lighting, but then your audio sucks, it's really not gonna be up to par and people aren't really gonna tend to watch your videos because it's just not gonna sound appetizing to them. And also, if you're new to making videos, just stick with the basics. Don't get caught up in all this gear hype. Like you can literally just start making really good content on just like the most basic of things. You don't need to get caught up in all that stuff. Just really stick to the basics and just build up from there and really learn the fundamentals before you start upgrading all this gear. So first up, let's talk about camera. You don't need the highest quality camera that's out there on the market to get started. I mean, even iPhones nowadays got pretty decent quality that if you really wanted to, you could even start shooting videos on just your phone. Just using this, especially the iPhone cameras nowadays are pretty decent. Um, you can literally just start making videos on your phone before you start upgrading your camera and spending thousands of dollars on that You can literally just start on your phone I would recommend getting some sort of stabilizer for your camera or for your phone like a tripod This just helps keep the camera steady so you don't have any like wiggles or anything going on in your video People can focus on what you're saying you can get tripod pretty cheap nowadays But if you don't have enough budget for that you can even just put it on a flat surface, lean it up against a couple of bugs or whatever, and you can even make that work. The main point here though is to not use, not having the best camera out there as an excuse to start making videos. You can literally just start with whatever you have, just hit record and just start going like that. If you only have enough budget for your phone, just use your phone and then upgrade later on. Next up, let's talk about lighting. Lighting is very important and it's often overlooked. One of the biggest misconceptions about lighting is that you don't really need gear to have good lighting in your videos. You don't need to have all the fancy equipment. You just need to understand the fundamentals of how lighting works and how it makes your videos look better. The most important thing is to have nice, even lighting on your subject. And what's the easiest way to do this? is to go outside and use the sun. If you are gonna use the sun, one of my biggest tips is to avoid harsh light. You don't want your subject to face the sun because you have really dark shadows under their eyes and it's going to be very contrasty and it's not going to look very good and then your subject's going to be like squinting the whole time and stuff. So the best thing to do in that scenario is to just have them turn around, put the sun behind them and have at least even lighting on their face. If you're shooting outside, you can even look for shaded areas. Those are also really good to shoot in because you got even lighting on your subject and even sometimes you'll have even lighting on your background too, which will overall make it just stay consistent and it'll still look pretty good. If you wanna shoot outdoors in the ideal conditions, there's a few times that you can do this. The best time to shoot outdoors during the day is when it's cloudy. This might be a little bit backwards thinking because you typically think you want like the brightest light outside to make good videos. But no, the clouds act like a giant softbox for the sun and it really gives you nice even lighting over your subject and your whole entire background. So you don't have to worry about where the sun is or positioning everybody right or whatever. You can just literally go out in there and just shoot. The other two best times are during sunrise and sunset. This is generally referred to as golden hour because you have that nice, even orange lighting. And similar to when it's cloudy, it's nice, even lighting. When it comes to lighting, one of the main things is just to make sure your subject is evenly lit and you can even get creative with it. Like for instance, right now, I'm using a little lamp right here and another lamp back here in the corner and I got the shades drawn just so I can show you guys that you don't need the best quality gear or whatever. You can literally just get stuff from around your house and as long as you understand the fundamentals of lighting, you can make good looking videos. So now let's talk about audio. Audio sometimes has to be a little intimidating for people because people tend to make it a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. Just start simple. Just make sure there's no other noise going on when you're shooting your video. And depending what you're using for your camera, you might be able to actually get decent audio. You just might have to be really close for it to actually sound decent. When it comes to audio though, I do recommend upgrading and investing some money into a microphone. If you're shooting on your phone, there's mics that you can even plug into your phone and use directly from there. If you're shooting on a camera, there's some on-camera shotgun mics that you can just put on top of the camera and kind of just get the audio from from there. The only downside to using these is that you might have to be pretty close to your camera and kind of just stay in one spot so you can get clean audio from it. This might work for you, but I would really recommend investing into something like a lapel mic or a lav mic like the one I'm wearing right now. This will allow you to kind of just move in and out closer to your camera further away. You can move around the, the frame and stuff without being tied to your camera. This allows you to just move freely and be able to do whatever you need to do in your video and still get good quality audio. So there you have it guys. Those are the three main things that make up a good quality video. But I have a bonus tip for you guys. Make sure you have a good message. 
because you can have the best camera out there, you can have the greatest lighting, you have the best audio system out there, but if you don't have a clear message for your audience, then people aren't gonna stick around for your video. It's gonna be better for you and for the people watching your videos. If you have a clear message, the main reason you're shooting videos is because you wanna get a message out there, right? These things we talked about today, like the camera, lighting, and audio, that, those are just gonna enhance your video, but it all comes back to the message because the message is the most important thing. So there you have it guys, that's what makes up a good video. Your camera, your lighting, your audio, and don't forget your message. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And make sure to turn that bell to be notified every single time we got a new video up. That way you can keep leveling up your skills. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.